What's going on, you prick? Sitting here, water fed pole in this house and these windows, and I thought I'd stop in and say hello. And I called you a prick, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, the weather broke early, got customers calling for window cleaning, going out myself and keeping all the money to myself. <laughs> Anyways, this house here, so uh, I don't know how many windows there are. I lost count. It's been my customer for a long time, charging uh, 220 bucks cash to clean the windows inside and out, glass only. And how long was it taking me here? Eh, two and a half hours all by myself. I'd say, yeah, two and a half hours. But I don't know, just keep steadily moving. When I'm by myself, I do this thing, which I, I'm learning now is probably the best way. Well, I can't clean my ways the best way. But if I'm like cleaning each window, I do every single thing that needs to be done with that window, whether it's like move a chair out of the way, open and close something, uh, clean a screen if it's not too dirty, right by the window, put everything back, next window. Every single thing that needs to be done, put that piece of, that slide the chair back in place or whatever's in front of the window, next window. And systematically as I go, I know that it's all done. It's like the envelope method. Is it faster to, you know, stamp a bunch of letters and then title a bunch of envelopes and then fold it all and then stick it in there and then stamp them all and then mail them? Or is it faster to actually, you know, fold a piece of paper, stamp it, write the envelope, address it, lick it, and then boom, that envelope's done. It's actually faster to do it all then and there and get that one envelope completely done with because you're not touching the same piece of paper twice. I'm really paying attention to this stuff. Now, there's a part of our brain that we go into this anxiety. I know that I do, I'm Mr. Anxiety, right? I got so much shit to do, I gotta go blah, 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 and you, we try to shortcut things, but really we're just short circuiting. <laughs> and, and there's no way around it, like trains on a track, there's only one track, only one train, caboose, 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 or whatever it may be, each next box car. You can't put two side by side on one track unless you have multiple tracks. That'd be like having multiple crews or something like that, doing multiple houses, <laughs> or whatever it may be. You have to, get in line and do it all in a systemized fashion. Like in the morning, you're getting ready to get out the door and you're rushing. Maybe you, maybe you woke up late. Well, you can skip things. How long can you skip things? You could skip brushing your teeth, you could skip your morning coffee, you could skip, skip using the bathroom and holding in all day. And I think that's what us small business owners do, is we get to this point, I just gotta piss in away, DI water, whatever. We get to this point where we start taking more and more and more away from us in the pursuit of making money. Why? Because we've got bills to pay and this and that. And like, obviously, it's true. I mean, if you feel anxiety, it's for a reason because of fucking commerce. Commerce creates anxiety. But I think you eventually get to a point where you say, you know what? This is the fucking price. And if I can't get that price, I can't do it because I've tried to do it at a lower price. And I, what was I doing? I didn't show up for grandma's funeral, all right? I didn't show up for dinner, and then my wife wants to leave me. I fucking, I haven't slept more than four hours in five years, and I'm having a nervous breakdown. What happens if you get in a car accident and smash into somebody because you fell asleep at the wheel, now you're sitting in prison? It's just fucking crazy. All because, but, 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 it, no, I'm unlocking a whole paradox of issues. But I just wanna, th I'm just thinking about that. Like, I spent the first three years of my business, I've actually got a client in this, um, around here somewhere within a mile of here that I was at this client's beck and call for three years straight like a little bitch for no money all because I believed that I was so cool that I had this awesome client and that one day they could flood me with all this work or something it was I was living in a fiction and I was just totally getting taken advantage of and killing myself and it will continue forever until you die. You will suffer until you die. But till you get to the point where you just don't give a fuck, that's when shit changes, when you just stop giving a fuck. And not giving a fuck is an apathy like you don't care, but you're like, do you know what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm listening to an amazing book right now on audible.com called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a good book, you should listen to it, it's really good. All right, cool, I'm getting back to cleaning these windows, dog. My three-stage water uh, purifier uh, cracked because I had it in my trailer over the winter and the thing 
So I, I'm running pure tap water through the DI right now, just pissing it away, and I ordered a new three-stage water purifier in line. What I mean is the housing, the casing of the water filter just literally shattered. So I bought a stronger, more expensive one, and new filters are coming. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Hit the subscribe, thumbs up, all that type of stuff. Let me know what's up in the comments below. Check out the links below this video and stuff like that. And stay in touch with my dog. I wish you the best of success. I'll stop right here. Okay, later. Seriously. Tear it up.